Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome to Low Code Bug. And today we will discuss how to load a CSV file in Appium database, right? So uh, it's our requirement when uh, in business we have a lot of files, right? Sometimes we have CSV file, we have PDF file, and there are different different files. To load that file in any kind of environment is quite difficult, right? To play around with data, to modify data, and to save that data somewhere safe. So today we will see how we can use a CSV file and we will upload that file into Appian environment and then we will save all the data which is in that CSV file inside Appian environment. So uh, let's get started and before getting started, if you are new, please subscribe the channel for latest updates. So uh, let's get started and we are inside our sandbox and this is my sandbox box application and what I'm going to do, I'm I'll be using a CSV file, which is uh, like I have already downloaded a sample CSV file in my PC. And what I'm going to do, I will upload that CSV file first inside this environment. Or what I can do, I can either create a, a particular interface where the user will come and user will upload that file. So let's let's create that interface and also let's create a process model. So we will name this process model save csv data right so to save a csv file in app so i will create this particular process model and inside this process model i will use a smart service right to load that particular csv file which i'll be uploading with the help of interface so my process model is created and uh, that particular smart service is a part of like uh, we have plugins right so this is smart service is a part of excel plugin right so we have a plugin called excel tools and that plugin allow us to use that smart service so uh, that plugin is already installed in my uh, particular environment and if you are not having that plugin you can download it from appian community or you can directly deploy that plugin in your appian environment by searching so I have already deployed that plugin. Now I'm going to use CSV. So you can see there is a smart service called import CSV to database, right? And there is one more load CSV file to database. So these are similar, right? If I try to drag and drop this one, CSV. And if I try to drag and drop this one, then the internal components are same. So we have additional column, CSV documents, care set and other things and similarly for this particular smart service we are having the same things but we have fewer options so let's use this because we don't need extra options this like the function will be same but now we will use this particular smart service so i can drag and drop this one on my process and what i want is an interface so uh, i can directly use user input task and I need to create an interface for this so I can upload that particular smart service. Sorry, uh, that particular file. So I'll create an interface called upload file, upload CSV. So this interface, I will use a upload section and in that upload section, I will upload my file. So uh, quickly, I will create this one. I'll not take much time. I'll use a form layout and directly I can use upload file. So I just need to scroll down or I can search upload. This is my file upload and I can rename, rename this to CSV upload. What I need to do, I need to create a rule input so I can uh, set, but I can move that particular or uh, I can store that file into that rule input of document type and I can use that rule input to map inside my process. So I'll name this file or doc and the type will be document type. So this is a document type which I have just selected 
and I just need to go inside my expression mode. I'll change the label, upload, upload form, and I will save that particular upload into rule bank. So I'll put a value ri bank doc and save into ri bank doc. So right now I have saved that particular of, so I will comment this one. Now what I need to do, I need to select a target for this upload. So whenever I'm going to upload this file, target is required. So I can choose that and I need to configure this target parameter. Inside the target parameter, I'm already having a constant. Let's quickly create a folder. So now my folder is created and I can copy paste this name to use this on interface. So everything is done. I can upload a file and like this one sample csv file or load csv test i am uploading this file and this is saved that's all i'll save this so right now i need to configure this assignment i can choose process initiator and inside form i can choose my form which i have just created upload csv i'll click yes date Everything is fine. I'll save this particular doc inside process variable. Okay. Everything is done. So what I need right now is, first of all, we need to uh, understand how my CSV file look like. And after that, I need to configure a table in my database. And also I need to configure this smart service right? So let's try to look at that particular CSV. So this is my CSV, right? I'm having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine columns, right? So these nine columns, I need to save inside my database. And if I look at the length, the number of rows, so I'm having around 60,000 data, right? This is a huge CSV. I need to use this file. So I need to create a CDT and a database table so uh, either I can create a database table manually inside uh, after going inside the database or I can create a CDT and I'll choose the automatically option. So right now I'm going to choose this fastest option. So I'll create this CDT. I'll make this as a primary key. Let's choose this number integer and everything is text. I can also choose and map data type accordingly with the help, like after looking into Excel. But right now I'm directly saving everything inside text. So it will not create issues. And I'm making this as a primary key. That's all. My work is done now. CDT is created. And I just need to go inside my data store and publish the CDT. Now I just need to complete this smart service. So uh, I will go inside input. So this is my input section. And first of all, I need to select the CSV document. So my CSV document will be inside process variable, which is PV bank and doc. And the column names. I need to put all the column names, whichever I'm going to fill. So uh, first of all, let's get, get inside the CDT and I have description name number. The data source name. So either I can create a constant for this one or I can directly write my data store name, data source name, which is in my case, JDBC. Appian. So this is my data source name, which I'm using right now. I'm not having any other data source. So I can put this name 
and delimiter is comma which is already there extra common column names and extra column values i can keep these two empty and inside table name what i need to do so i'll go inside cloud database and i can search for asa prefix asa and this is my csv file which i have just created i'll copy this and i'll paste this inside my process model smart service this is done everything is done in output i can save the output and success message so success message and error message i'm creating two process variables i'll click ok and let's try to save this and let's test this so everything is done our document is mapped fine and we have this smart service in place so i have saved this let's start this process yes so we are at the user input form if i look into the form then i must be having option to upload that csv i'll upload this csv this one so it's it's about 6.16 mb and let's try to submit this i have click on the submit button if i try to refresh this there is some error so what i can do now i can go inside my process variable and inside variable i can take a look at the error so error is not coming up let's see the error inside this this method only works with my sql database so there must be having one more uh, particular input section which is not visible right now to select a header or not select a header so let's try to see other smart service import csv to database so we have additional columns here the, these are fine we have the csv document and this is mandatory column names is similar data source name data field names delimiter and file has a header i was talking about this one let's do one thing let's try to use this smart service because the function is same for both of them and there is one parameter which is not there inside this uh, smart service so let's try to use this other one okay and i can cut this so meanwhile let's try to save and debug this smart service so the process is same just that we have changed the smart service so right now i'm trying to upload my file csv file and we'll do the same thing the one which we have used previously and i'll submit this and i'll try to refresh this and it is loading you can see i'm trying to refresh it again and again but it is still loading it means they are trying to save the data inside database right so i'm trying to refresh it and again and again you can see it is done now so let's get into the database and if i refresh this then i'm having the data right this is what i want so this is fine you can see there are around 60000 of data which i'm having in my database this is my requirement and this is completed that's all right so it means the previous smart service which was not working so that smart service is not meant to be working for jdbc and appian database so we have now used the correct smart service and now my data is inside appian database so this is what we need to do to get the data from csv file inside appian environment and that's all for contact please check description box if you are having any queries you can comment or ping me on my whatsapp